In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here from the paper one of the Ordinary Level Leaving Cert 2004. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to the playlist in the description below. Now, I'll be doing this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't the classroom, you're on YouTube, so take advantage of those tools pause the video, rewind, fast forward, or slow it down if I'm talking too fast. If you find this video useful or any of my other videos, I would appreciate a like or a subscribe. And what helps out the channel the most is sharing it with someone else who could be doing the Leaving Cert. In question three, they tell us about a toy shop that sells two different sets of building blocks, um, set A and set B. There's different number of blocks in each set and they cost different amounts. So this Common enough thing, doesn't have to be blocks, could be some in-app purchase for a game, like crystals they're selling in a game, anything like that. that you can buy 60 of them for 12 euro, or you can buy 150 for 28 euro. And they're, they're simply asking uh, which, uh, which of the building blocks work out cheaper per block. So, like obviously if you just want 60, the first one's cheaper. But if you wanted a million blocks, like which are you gonna buy loads of here? Uh, which is cheaper per block. Um, so what we really want to do is find out an extra column here, um, a per block uh, price, per block price, whatever. Uh, so how do we find that? How much is one of these blocks in set A? Well, there's 60 blocks and they cost 12 euro. So 12, how much does one block cost? Um, I guess we could do it slowly like this, 60 cost 12. How much does one cost? Um, well, divide 60 by 60, we get one. Divide 12 by 60, we get our answer. So how much does one cost? Uh, 12 divided by 60 is uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 cent. Uh, let's put in the euro signs here. Um, so 20 cent, sorry, I said 0 0.2 cent. 0 0.2 euro or 20 cent for every block. Uh, the other one, do the same thing. 12 divided by 60, is the other one is 28 divided by 150. And that comes out as 0 0.1866 uh, repeating. Or 16, 18 cent. Uh, 18, a little, near, nearly 19 cent. So which is cheaper? Uh, set A. So that's a uh, tick the box that says set A. Tick. And uh, for calculations, this is enough. These two numbers here. Oh, uh, write in what it actually equals. Uh, you don't have to, you can round that off as much as you want, really. Okay, in part B, uh, no more stories about somebody bu buying blocks or anything. It's just a maths question. Uh, it gives you this formula here and it asks you to find out what x is. Solve, solve this equation. Basically, find out what x is. This is a quadratic equation. Very common. You should see two or three every exam. And then um, how do you solve it? There's, there's three main ways. The first way is to try and factorize it. Try and break it into like two brackets equals zero. Solves like that. Solves very quickly, very easy. Except it doesn't work in this case. And it, it won't always work. Um, and sometimes questions are too hard. This is one of those. There's the two numbers they want are not, um, are not easy. And they gave a clue to that. They said the answer is two decimal places. So the answer is never going to be like three and five. It's going to be like 2.87. Like it's going to be something a little more difficult. So how do you solve it? And there's two ways. One, it's not really on the ordering level. I'll just mention it. It's called completing the square. It does, it works every time if you want to do it. It's, uh, it's quite pretty and it's quite a nice way to do it. I always show my students, but it's not the way we're going to do here. The way I would show you how to do this is another way that always works. So if you're not good at factorizing, you can do it this way all the time. The answer to this is just an equation. X is going to equal minus B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC, sorry, all over 2A. It's the minus B formula and it works for every quadratic. It takes a little longer than factorizing but it always works. So I highly recommend students who have trouble with quadratics, just do 20 of these questions, 50 examples, you'll get there. You'll, 
be an expert by the end of it. So what's A, B, and C? Well, A is three, B is minus five, and C is one. And we just fill them in. Uh, that's minus five, minus, minus five is just five, plus or minus square root. Minus five squared, two minuses make a plus, makes 25. Uh, minus four times one times three. Well, let's write all that out. Minus four times one times three. And all that's divided by two times three, uh, which is just six, just six. Now let's clean this up. We get five plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 12 over six. Uh, again, five plus or minus square root of 13 over six. And that's, uh, that's nearly our answer, except they want decimal places. So we have two answers here. I, I know it looks like one, but it's plus or minus. There's two answers, five plus square root of 13 over six. Put that in a calculator. X is equal to five minus square root of 13 over six. Put that in a calculator and you get two answers. I just realized I don't know if I've mixed these up. Uh, I guess I can tell the difference because of the minus. Uh, this will come out as 1.43. And if you put this in a calculator, that will equal 0.23. I've rounded off to two decimal places in both of them. Okay, let me clear that and we'll go to part C. In part C, they give us these two equations, 2x plus y equals 5 and x squared plus y squared equals 25. And they tell us this simultaneous equation and uh, let's see, to solve, yeah? Just, just to solve it, find out what x and y is. Very common question, simultaneous equations are very common. This one's a little harder because there's a quadratic, there's, um, yeah, there's terms to the power of uh, 2 in it. So it's a little difficult, but they come up very regularly, probably most years. And if they don't come up in paper one, they usually come up in paper two, because this is a line and this is a circle and they intersect, which is the same as a simultaneous equation. So how do we solve this? They, they even give us a hint to this. They say, uh, use this line here and write y in terms of x. So let's take this line and let's move the two x over. Take two x from both sides yx is equal 5 minus 2x. That's, a, that's, that's the hint they give us to, to do this. So how did that help? Um, well, let's write the second line again. Let's write the second line again. x squared plus y squared. Well, hang on, y squared, we know what y is. Instead of y squared, why don't I write two, 5 minus 2x squared? So now there's no y's anywhere, there's just x's. And this equals 25. I just wrote the second line again with this piece of information. And that's how you do simultaneous equations. Take the information from one, put it into the other, and hopefully you've done it the right way. You've eliminated the right stuff. So it's just x's here. Let's rearrange this. We're gonna get a quadratic equation. Uh, let's square this out. Uh, leave the x squared alone here. What's this squared? You can do it as slow as you want. Do it on a side piece of paper. Uh, write two brackets, anything you want. Um, but to square this, we get five squared is 25. We get minus two X squared. Minus by minus plus two by two is a four. X by an X, X squared. Now don't forget the cross multiplies. Uh, two of these brackets, that means this five has to multiply by this minus, um, 2x, so that'd be minus 10x. But this minus 2x has to multiply by the 5 then. So it's another minus 10x. And all this still equals 25. Clean all this up, all the x squares. x squared of 4x squared, we get 5x squared. All the x's, uh, we get minus 20, minus 20x. All the numbers, let's see, if we move this guy over, take 25 from both sides, we'd have 25 minus 25. That's just zero. Uh, let's write in plus zero. Um, that's a quadratic. Now, it should be quite easy for you to solve this using a minus b formula once you write in plus zero. But uh, most students won't write that in, uh, and you don't have to. So let me write that again, 5x squared minus 20x 
equals zero. So how do you solve this? Again, you can use the minus b formula, just be careful. C is now zero. And uh, we can factorize this. And it's easy to factorize, two brackets. We don't have to do any weird cross multiplying. Um, there's a number that goes into both of these guys, all three of them in fact. Five goes into all of them. Five goes into that, five goes into 20, five goes into zero. More, x, x goes into all of them, x goes into this guy. X goes into this, X, everything goes into zero by the way. X goes into that. So five X comes out of both of these. If I take five X out, what's left? Just an X. If I take five X out of this, what's left? A minus four. Remember we're, the, we're multiplying it back in. So five X by minus four is minus 20. Five X by X is. So when I say take it out, I'm not really taking away, I'm dividing it out. Um, and this equals zero. So this is a classic uh, quadratic thing. We have two multiplies, two things multiplying equals zero. That, that's how we split it in half. That means either five X equals zero or X minus four equals zero. Remember, how else would we get zero? Two things multiplying each other. There's only one way to get zero. Well, two ways. Uh, there's only, only th thing that can happen to get zero is one of these have to be zero. I just don't know which, either this, or this, or maybe both. Um, so 5x equals zero. Well, that just means x equals zero. Five times what equals zero? Well, zero. Uh, let's rearrange this. Uh, add four to both sides. x is equal four. There are your two answers. Uh, not full answers though, but those two answers will hopefully work for this. Just remember, they wanted to solve everything here. That means you need a y. You need to know what y equals. y equals uh, where was it? Over here. Y equals 5 minus 2x. Well, hang on. I know what x is. It's 0. Y is equal 5 minus 0. Y is equal 5. 0 and 5 is one of our answers. This guy over here. Y is equal to 5 minus 2 times 4. Not 2x. 2 times 4. I know what x is. Um, that's what, uh, 5 minus 8. That's minus three. There are your two answers, uh, two sets of answers. Y, X is zero and Y is five, or X is four and Y is minus three. Now, one last thing, you got full marks, by the way, if you got this, full marks, but do one last thing for me, because you might be wrong. Check your answer. Go back up here and fill in zero and five. Two zeros, zero, plus five equals five. Yeah, that's right. Uh, zero times zero, zero. Five squared is equal 25. Yeah, this one works. This is definitely right. Check this guy out. Uh, two fours are eight. Eight minus three is five. That works. Uh, four fours are 16. Uh, minus three squared is plus nine. 16 plus nine is 25. This one works as well. Double, take, take the extra minute and check your answer. It, it will help a lot in your exam. Okay, that's everything in question three. If you have any follow-up questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, have a great day.